another group of cars. Big field of 19. The fastest guys are going to be Dean Perkins, Hugh Gardner, Angus Fogg, who picked up a win in that exciting first race today in the rain where they swap places between Fogg, Gardner and Perkins. Andrew Anderson with the big rebuild from his Ford Mustang. That, that's the old man's car. Good to see Bruce out there today after his big crash down at Manfield. Then you've got Honor, Holland, Owens, Hopkins, Dowdy, Grant Dalton, the 70 Chevrolet Camaro. So NZ Central Muscle Cars, loud and proud. V8's the way you love them. And isn't it a great look, the Mobile 80? The old... Definitely, yeah. The, um, the Bathurst sort of replica, isn't yeah, it? The Peter yeah. Brock special. Yeah, and even the 05 of um, Andrew Turner's is a good-looking <coughs> car as well. And Steve Neuer, uh, out of Auckland, that Ford Mustang, 167, always looks well presented, doesn't it? Well, owns a panel shop, you know, does a lot of work on the cars and that sort of thing, and that's probably one of his showpieces. And no doubt uh, rebuilds quite a few cars, like Andrew Anderson's. Trevor Swan's off. He had um, gearbox trouble at the last round, but uh, seems to be going all right now. Then we've got a group of four. So running's away, Neuer's away, Kett's away, Turner's away. So the slow car's released. And look at Holland. He's getting a scorcher. Whoa, look at 168. Straight to the front of the group. Mark Holland, jeez. Gets off the line really well, that car. Honours away. So is Boot. Dalton, Anderson. One of them smoked it up around Pirelli. 41. <laughs> Bruce Kett. Bruce Kett. Overcooked it. Going down into turn two. He had a bit of a spin in the last, uh, last time he was out there as well. So Mark Holland, he's opened up a nice little way. So all these different battle groups. But where's uh, Perkins, Fogg, and, and Gardner? Do they start right, pit right lane? down the back? Right uh, down the right back. Down the back. So They've five, gone. Five seconds off the back. So we'll see how they go. The idea is that they'll, they'll get to the front of the front of the grid. NZ Central Muscle Cars race two. So it's the handicap reverse grid. So it's race over eight laps. So you see all of this great machinery start bulking up as we get towards the end of the race, and they'll all be working their way through the slow traffic. Very clean racing at the moment out there, which we'd like to see. Obviously, if they if they do have any contact or anything like that, there's, there's points taken off them, and if they don't finish a race, you know, there's points taken off them as, for that as well. So, you know, one, one, one DNF can um, put, you, put you right back in in your group, like group one or group two, and it upsets your whole sort of championship. Just check out race timing at the moment. Doesn't seem to actually be working with the race time, so we'll just... Greg Honors having a good run up there. Coming up through the field. That's 429, a um, Boss Mustang. Obviously, most, most of the faster cars are NASCAR powered. And, um, yeah, and the slower ones are sort of same um, valve geometry as what they come out of the factory. So um, sort of down sort of two, 300 horsepower on the, on the faster guys. It's amazing what um, get the Roush motors out, out of the America. 850 horsepower. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're a cheap motor at sort of $20,000 and that, but you could buy sort of one component for them and, you know, it's $3,000 for like valve springs or valves and stuff like that. So it adds up. If you actually went to build one of those motors, it could be anywhere from sort of sixty dollars to $100,000, I would think. So it's still Trevor Swan out in front from Greg running. Then it's uh, Steve Neuer, Bruce Kett. We've got no times coming through at the moment, so there's a bit of a, just a bit of a timing issue. But at the moment, they're still out in front. And there's, as you can see, it hasn't changed. Eight laps to go. So must be a bit of a glitch in the matrix there somewhere. So we're relying on the race officials to see how they're going in regard to the timing. Here comes the chance for the lead. 
It's Andrew Turner coming up, making a move on uh, Greg Sw uh, Trevor Swan. So Andrew Turner, he goes to the front. Trevor Swan is second. Coming up behind him is uh, Steve Neuer. Then there's Dean Owens, Clark Hopkins. Then there's the um, Group 2 leader, Mark Holland. There's Paul Bowden. Oh, sorry, Tony Boyden. Look at that. And Three, Boggy. four Boggy cars. Boggy right round the outside. Keeps it on the, the tarmac. And they all move over and give each other a racing room. Three wide down into turn two. And they roll up and over. There's Dean Perkins in the flying XD79 Ford Falcon charging his way through the field. Don't really know how many laps are left, but uh, yeah, there can't be many out to start to sort of catch up to the front of the field. So. Perkins sideways, Noya. He's made the pass around Trevor Swan. So I think we've had about two or three laps. Trevor Swan is certainly not in the lead at the moment. He's been passed by... Andrew Turner, now the rest of the field. Here comes Fogg. Up behind him is Anderson. Beautiful looking car. Got the win in race one. Now the system's been rebooted. And we're back to four laps to go. So everything's back on track now with our race timing light monitor. Fastest man out there is Angus Fogg. No, no surprise that. A 108.6. Big field charging up. Dalton and that pack as well. Greg Honor in there too. This is where the slower guys have got to sort of keep an eye on their mirrors and that sort of thing because the, the other guys will be coming up a lot faster. Faster on them. That's the thing they've got to make. Give racing some room and that sort of thing. That's what it's about. Obviously you don't want to see any of them damaged out there. No, they certainly land. There's the cost of these cars these days. Gee, there's a lot to, uh, you know, getting parts is not actually oh. the easiest. And you go on to trade me and just look at, look at buying... Just, just one off that you know that's come out of the factory. That they're a really expensive car now just to buy. You know, like the old XD Falcons used to be a couple of grand. Now you struggle to get one for under sort of twenty. Number five, Andrew Turner in the 1984 Holden Commodore from Auckland, currently in the lead from 23 Dean Owens in a 1970 Chevrolet Camaro from Wellington. 3.1 was the gap. Three laps to go after this when they crossed the start finish line. So there's the Marlborough 05 car, that 84 Commodore. Dean Owens in the big Chevy. Foggy's holding 1970. The hill. Noya holding on, and there's one Mustang followed by another Mustang. Clark Hopkins out there in the old 77 Tirana. Great display of machinery. Andrew Anderson's up there in the Ford Mustang. He's doing a good job. So Foggy's got past Noya. He's up to. P3 at the moment. So he's got the leaders in sight. He'll have a couple of laps to try and mow them down. So a lot of these fast guys will get on to these guys in the next lap. Andrew Turner. Can he hold on? Dean Owens. Can he hold on? Foggy. Can he get past? Here's the rest of the field around. Further back down the field of the higher pull hairpin. Two or three wide. Big battle group going down to the Porsche Dipper. 48. Tony Boyden in the 84 Holden Commodore from Danny Burke. A lot of Chevy Camaros out there. Must be the car of choice. There's about four or five of them in a row there at the moment. Yeah, obviously there's um, different different uh, models as well, like Generation 1, 2 and 3. So, yeah, it's Whoa. good to see them out there. <coughs> Cross the start-finish line and they're all side by side. Turner somehow holds on, even though Dean Owens looked like he crossed that start finish line to grab the lead. It's going to be short-lived Angus Fogg. Down the inside, the race is cleared, the fog is cleared, and Foggy's going to clear off. And he's grabbed the lead, down into the higher pull hairpin. Second to last lap, Andrew Anderson. He's making a move on Dean Owens now. So we'll see how he gets through, through these guys. What a good job by the uh, Pine Pack team. They've had a massive rebuild after the two big brands, both the Ford Falcon and the Mustang being basically rebuilt by Jacko. We talked about Steve Neuer and the team from Moselle Pedal and Paint, and they've done a superb job. So uh, Andrew Anderson got this car, only got it finished with the livery wires on Thursday before they brought it out to the track on Friday. And here he is. Making the move up over the straight. Last lap boards out. Foggy has got the lead. Anderson's up to second. That's going to be a great result for the Pine Pack team. 
Turner, can he hold on? Owens is currently in fourth. Perkins is lurking in fifth. Here he comes. So there's Dino. So the question is, Fogg's got up there. Anderson's got up there. So your handicapping and your results have been excellent. On the last lap, I don't think Andrew's going to get close to Fogg. But the two big Mustangs have certainly muscled their way through this field. So can the Commodore hold on or will the Camaro get up or will it be that flying XD Falcon 75 of Dean Perkins from Pukekohe? Interesting to see what happens over the line. Dean will be trying to get up to a third spot, I would think. He's got a bit of a gap needed to, go, to get up there. Angus Fogg, though, looking good, black and gold, and it's going to be black and white waved in front of his face. Checkered flag. Foggy gets the win, goes back to back. One of the wet, one of the dry. Andrew Anderson grabs second spot, and Andrew Turner holds on for a flying finish in third place. Well done. Then it's Owens, Perkins, Boot, Hopkins, Honor. Fastest man out there, Foggy, a 107.6 of the last lap. Did a great job. Andrew Anderson, a 108.4, and Turner, a 110.8. Craig Boots in the, in the sand has gone, gone off there at the end. Probably just a flying finish and overcooked it going into the breaking. <laughs> yeah, well, I think a lot of them got excited on the NZ Central Muscle Cars. Fantastic display of machinery. And this guy's pretty cool, calm, and collected. And no doubt in a nice...